My name is Lara and I'm a doctor from Australia. I'm privileged to share with you stories from the heart of Ukraine, a country of natural beauty, golden fields and amazing resilient people. But it's also a country under attack, fighting for its very survival. Amidst the echoes of war, there's an unyielding spirit that refuses to be silenced. And I learnt so much on my visit there in July 2023 with my colleague John Whitehall. Yeah, it's close to the uh, Enerhodar uh, where the nuclear plant is now yes. occupied by Russians. So here, you, how many people li lived Whoops. in this room? Uh, uh, in this room, there are seven people. Oh, so you, you in this in this room, uh, there, are, there are seven, but in the in the section, it's like eighteen people. Yeah. Okay. We saw the evidence of the incredible price that they are paying in their fight for freedom. I was able to see that in the face of incredible adversity, the Ukrainian people stand strong, a testament to their courage and indomitable will. They confront tyranny with an unwavering determination to safeguard their freedom and democracy, but it does come at great cost. These are, these are all soldiers who have just died in the last, oh, looking at it, most of it, it's in the last 12 months. Just wrong. So many long lives gone, and this is just one of thousands of cemeteries across this country. In fact, this is the cemetery the furthest away from the fighting. Imagine how many more there are. The fear and unremittent terror is also palpable. There's especially a dread of falling under Russian occupation, a fear magnified by the horrors witnessed by those I spoke to. Yet in this fear, they find strength, a collective resolve to fight, rise, rebuild, and reclaim their future. Everywhere there was a sense of unity. Ordinary citizens become pillars of support, helping the displaced, aiding the military, working tirelessly to piece back their shattered homeland. You would see people in the streets raising money for the army, volunteers working with refugees and those affected by war, organisations setting up social enterprises to support Ukrainians and support the war effort. This was just one of many organisations I saw that had been set up by young Ukrainians, helping refugees, making goods for the army and those in need. Ordinary citizens and army chaplains were distributing aid and helping at the front. The gratitude that was expressed was immeasurable. It's touching every heart that extends a helping hand. It's a gratitude that was both humbling and humiliating as they thanked those who did even the smallest thing for them in their darkest hours. The devastation is stark and widespread. Cities and villages bear the scars of conflict telling tales of loss and despair that words can scarcely capture. Some villages I visited barely existed anymore, and I know I didn't even get to see the worst of it. Dr. I saw so much destruction and evidence of horror. I saw evidence of cluster munitions and thermobaric bombs.
Explosions were still going on in these areas. But even in the so-called safer areas, life under the constant shadow of air raid sirens become a harrowing reality. These alarms, random and unnerving, remind them that danger lurks in every corner, that no place is too sacred for the strikes which often target civilians. I think it was a shock for everyone when a missile struck an apartment block at 3am in Lviv, right near where we were sleeping. In the city that is on the other side of the country, we're from the front line and meant to be safe. And amidst this turmoil, Ukraine has become a beacon for those who believe in the sanctity of freedom and the rights of sovereign nations. We met foreigners, volunteers from distant lands who've joined this fight. We met people who'd fought shoulder to shoulder with Australians and New Zealanders. They stand with the Ukrainians, understanding the global importance of resisting a tyrant's illegal invasion. In this time of war, the spirit of Ukraine shines the brightest. Their resilience is not just about survival, it's a powerful message of hope, of an unbreakable will that aspires for peace and freedom from tyranny. What I learned most on this trip is that to stand with Ukraine is to be on the right side of history.